Hello and welcome to Real Biz. I'm Rebecca Jarvis and here at Real Biz, we tackle the business stories that you really care about. And here's a stat that caught our eye recently. Airlines will collect a record $50 billion in fees this year on everything from baggage to seat assignments and food. But the one thing that you can still count on, at least most of the time, are the free pretzels. So we at Real Biz naturally wondered, who's got the best pretzels? Our challenge today, a blind taste test. Our judges, celebrity chefs Donatella Arpaia and Tom not English and here at stake well there's very little to be honest but we thought this would be fun <laughs> and they both have experience in the airline industry believe it or not yeah, Donatella true. you have been a chef on Iron Chef Iron a judge chef. on Iron yes, Chef yes and we did a whole episode in the airline industry so I got a, a lot of education about it and right. Chef English. I actually cooked on a couple of the, the domestic airlines, internationally and domestically, and boy, it's interesting to see what goes on behind the scenes. And so yeah. it's, it's a challenge. I mean, it's certainly a huge challenge uh, to, to serve you know, a proper meal at 30,000 people. I mean, you're lucky if you get the free pretzels yes. well, we were on talking most about flights. The, the allergies and that no, peanuts are, no, are, are a big problem on, big on no airlines no. now. So no, now, now it's pretzels. So I, I, do, I do think <laughs> it's the last thing that's for free. <laughs> well, let's hold on all. to it. You're let's paying encourage somehow, them. Donna. <laughs> Let's enjoy this moment. Enjoy these pretzels. Right. United, Southwest, and JetBlue have graciously sent us the samples, and it's time to taste. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. All right. Where are you starting? I'll start down here, I guess. All right. I'll these are a little the broken. Did you yeah. break them here on the set no, of GMA, or did they, they come came broken? They fresh out. Donna, that's in now, the broken pretzels. <laughs> did you know that? Come on. <laughs> we're back and we have way. water too. Yeah, well, here you go. Of In case you need to taste oh, the water's free too, isn't it? Mm -hmm. that nice? <laughs> they do water on like these days, from what I hear. I, if you're lucky. Any Russell. initial thoughts? Sawdusty is, a, is maybe something I would say. I always look for non-stale pretzels as a start. Mm -hmm. These are not stale. Mm -hmm. uh, nice size. Mm -hmm. The That's salt is pretty proportionate so far, but I, I'd like to taste all three before yeah, I... Yes, so let's... Before we judge. Before I judge. We need a little um, palate cleanser mm -hmm. in between pretzels. <laughs> Certainly, I think texture is a big part of eating a pretzel, you know, especially the crunch. Now, again, remember, at 30,000 feet, your palate is less prone to the flavors, so you can actually need the salt to help you taste because you, you taste less at 30,000 mm. feet. Yes. So That's there's one of the things... Of so salt is important at 30,000 feet. <laughs> And people order more alcohol with right. that, right? There, there you go. <laughs> right. Well, that's the idea is to boost your sales, like you know, on the airlines. I guess that's well, another way of adding on. Well, you don't get to 50 billion right, without right. a few pretzels. So there's baggage. There's baggage, right? They add for it's baggage. It's the baggage. It's the seats. And, it's and the pillows. It's the blankets. And how many Bloody Marys they can sell, right? See, earphones. <laughs> they even sell earphones now. Right? now. So um, I, like, I like something I, that has a little more crunch. Bigger is not always better, but in this case, I think it Both is. of you went for it. <laughs> <laughs> Both of you are saying red. Definitely. Definitely, yeah. definitely red. Uh, I think the yeah. crunch, there's weight to it. It's not yeah. stale. It tastes it's, like an old school beer garden And it's, and it's, fun, it's fun to pretzel. eat. It gives you, it's a little, you know, you're on the plane for two, three hours. It gives you, it takes a little more time. <laughs> along the way. Yes, yeah. if you're getting only one bag, at least more. you can work your way through that one over the course <laughs> exactly. of a few yeah, hours. Yeah, this is my second favorite, and that's my least yes, favorite. All right, I'm on board. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the same side as both agree. of you. All right, are we curious to know who made these? I'm going to say that's JetBlue at the end. Because I think they care the most about their snacks. So say, you don't want to work for any of these airlines. <laughs> no, actually, I think it's there goes United, goes my career JetBlue, the, and Southwest. <laughs> United, JetBlue, that's, Southwest. Really? Yes. No, I'm, the, I'm JetBlue, United, and Southwest. Okay. That's my, that's okay. My Ready for the big reveal? Yes. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> I was United. right. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Because I flew JetBlue last Jet week. JetBlue. Wow. Oh, did you have these? <laughs> and I, re I didn't remember the big pretzels. And Southwest. Wow. I have an amazing food memory. I didn't yes. remember the big pretzels. So. I don't usually get the pretzels. It's okay, Todd. I usually right. pass them. I'm right. Yeah. You're wrong. It's fine. <laughs> well, the winner today. So what's new, Donna, right? <laughs> we're already duking it out here. Over we pretzels. I know, over pretzels. We are. That's right. Well, That's right. we're hoping people out there will also duke it out over pretzels. <laughs> let us know what you think. United won here in our challenge, but if you have a favorite pretzel on an airline, let us know, or maybe you like the kind that you can buy in the stores, you can let us know that too. Like us, tweet us at Rebecca Jarvis and comment below. And until next time, this is Rebecca Jarvis for Real Biz in New York. Have a great day.